What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to share my thoughts on the potential for a nuke or an atomic bomb type of a streak in COD World War II. Keep in mind right up front here, this is a speculative video, this isn't confirming anything, I don't have any inside info, there hasn't been any information released on this, I'm just sharing my thoughts on the potential for something like this, and I just wanted to have a discussion about it. One quick note about the gameplay and the reason you can see my face cam here, this is a stream highlight. I just wanted to share my very first Vicious Metal in COD World War II with you guys, so I ripped this from a stream and I thought it would be fitting to go behind this sort of a topic. So starting it right off here, do I think there's going to be some sort of a nuke or atomic bomb type streak in this game? I'm leaning towards yes, I think there might be something like that. For those of you guys that didn't know, Sledgehammer Games was a big part of Modern Warfare 3, and in Modern Warfare 3 we had the MOAB. Then when we move into Sledgehammer's next game, the one that they had full control over, this was Advanced Warfare, we had the DNA Bomb, which is essentially a nuke as well. This leads me to believe that unlike Treyarch, which just does nuclear metals and they don't have any actual bomb that drops on the map or anything, it leads me to believe that Sledgehammer is definitely more open to having that nuke streak, whether that be game ending or not, although so far, both of their nuke streaks in both Modern Warfare 3, as well as in Advanced Warfare, have been non-game ending. They just kill every player on the map, and then there's like this big flash, and everybody gets to see it. It's kind of like a celebration, so everybody in the lobby can see that you earned that nuke. Now, one thing I wanted to point out here, and I just thought it would fit in well with this commentary, Control Freaks just launched a brand new Control Freak today called the Atomic. Now, in the past, we've seen Control Freaks work with Call of Duty and like the Heritage Editions with Control Freaks, for instance. You could tell they had sort of that like World War II feel. And this was before COD World War II was announced. It was just before it was announced we got these Heritage Editions. And this was definitely one of the hints that was pushing at the fact that we were going to be seeing a World War II Call of Duty game this year. Now, having said this, these ones are not officially licensed with Call of Duty, unlike the Heritage Editions or some of the other editions we've seen in the past. So perhaps this is just an idea that they had at Control Freaks for a design and they just kind of pushed it into a product and it has nothing to do with Call of Duty. Or maybe there's something going on behind the scenes that they know about that we don't and this is going to be a reflection of that. Now keep in mind this isn't a sponsored video, they didn't pay me to make this or pay me to say this, they just sent me some products out, I am an affiliate of theirs. If you wanted to get 10% off you could use the code EXCLUSIVE at checkout, I will leave a link down below if you'd like to check out these products. But when they share stuff with me, I like to share that stuff with you guys, and this just fit in perfectly with today's topic. So personally, I do think that the probability is decently high that we're going to be seeing a nuke or an atomic bomb in COD World War II. I realize it is set in the European theater, and a lot of people are like, well, that's not historically accurate, because the only atomic bombs that were dropped were in the Pacific theater, and therefore there's no way they would have any sort of a nuke-type streak in the European theater. First off, the first thing I want to point out here is multiplayer isn't designed to be perfectly historically accurate. You can see that with the characters that they're using. You can see how they change the symbols and everything like that. A ton of people had a bunch of complaints about this. Personally, I don't really care. I just want a fun game. And this is another one of those things where I don't think they really care that much about historical accuracy. I think just having a fun gameplay experience is much more important for multiplayer. Also, it doesn't necessarily have to be a nuke or an atomic bomb. Just some sort of big kind of secret streak that takes either 25 to 30 gun kills to get that has a big boom on the map. It could be like a huge bombing run or something that just basically levels the map. It could be anything like that. And that's definitely something that could be historically accurate for the European theater. Now, if it turns out we do have one of these types of streaks, I wanted to share what I would like this to look like. First off, I do not want it to be game ending. I'd be okay with it being game ending maybe in TDM as well as free for all, kind of like Infinite Warfare did, because in those modes, the objective is to simply get more kills than the enemy does as fast as possible. So in those game modes, I would be okay with it being game ending, but I'd also be totally fine if it wasn't game ending. But for objective game modes especially, I really hope if there is a nuke streak, it won't be game ending. As cool as it was back in Modern Warfare 2 to drop a nuke when you're on the losing side and win the game for your team even though you were losing, I don't really feel like that is a fair way to approach it. I think that could lead to some very undesirable playstyles in the game. You would have those people that are pretty capable of getting kills and getting on kill streaks that would completely ignore the objective they'd have no incentive to because they've got a pretty good idea that they're just going to drop that nuke anyway or at least they're going to be trying really hard for it, which means they're not going to be touching that objective at all. 
Also, I do feel like it needs to be said here, score streak kills should absolutely not count towards this streak. I don't think they would make that mistake by any means. In both Modern Warfare 3 as well as in Advanced Warfare, it was only gun kills that contributed to this, and I think they would follow suit with that if they do happen to have this streak in the game. I'm totally fine if they handle it like they did with Advanced Warfare, where score streak kills will help towards like your vicious medals and stuff, but they won't help towards that DNA bomb or that nuke or whatever they decided to be, assuming it is going to be in the game. Kills from score streaks should absolutely not count. Another thing I wanted to mention with this is I really hope they don't go the Infinite Warfare route where you have to be using a certain gun or a certain variant in order to drop this secret streak. While it was kind of a neat idea to attach that to a variant in Infinite Warfare, I don't think it was the right move. I think they should have just had it active for anybody at any given time if you get a 25 gun streak or if they wanted to make a 30 gun streak, whatever. I think you deserve to get that nuke. I, I don't think it should be the case where it's like, oh crap, I'm not using the right variant. I, I did all the work that was necessary, but I wasn't using the right variant to make this happen. Now with all this nuke talk, there is definitely the other side to it. There's a lot of people out there that are saying they don't want to see a nuke streak in this game. And usually the argument that you see is having these nuke streaks lead to camping in the game. And honestly, I don't think this is going to be the case if it's gun kills only, especially if it's a 30 gun streak that it requires to get this nuke. For most players out there, just reaching 30 kills in a game is a feat in itself. Not 30 kills in a row without dying, just 30 kills total. So the players that are actually going to be going for and getting these nukes, these are the types of players that are generally not just sitting in a corner randomly or just locking down one room all game. These are the players that are moving around the map a little bit and being relatively aggressive trying to get their kills. So I don't think this is really going to lead to much camping, especially if it is gun only. If score streak kills counted, then yes, I would say this would absolutely contribute. I remember back in the day with Modern Warfare 2, I would even camp for nukes a lot. I wasn't as good as I am now back then, so I kind of had to if I wanted to get a nuke. But if I only needed 7 kills, I could do that by just sitting in a room or locking down a single window or something like that. I could totally get 7 kills to get my Harrier Strike that would get me my Chopper Gunner that would get me my nuke. But when you need a 30 gun streak, you're going to need to be more aggressive than just sitting in a corner waiting for people. So overall, I'm really, really hoping we end up seeing a nuke-like streak in this game, an atomic bomb, a bombing run, whatever it might be, some sort of a secret streak that you don't have to equip that requires you to get 25 to 30 gun kills. I know for a ton of the top tier players out there, this is what keeps them around in public matches all year round. They're always going for those nukes. They always have something to work towards each and every game that isn't just as simple as, oh, let's just try to win the game. They have that, that really difficult and specific goal to go for that nuke, and I hope we get to see that again this year. And with that, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what are your guys' thoughts about a nuke or an atomic bomb-like streak in this game? If there is one, would you like it to be 25 gun kills or 30 gun kills? Or do you even think that score streak kills should contribute and it shouldn't just be gun kills? Also, if there is one of these streaks, should it be game ending or should it be like a Moab where it just kind of kills a whole enemy team and then the game just goes on? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.